Okay, so today I am here to talk about the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the color Coco C8, which just looks like this. So if you like to see a demo and my thoughts or review about this product, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to apply the foundation. I'm not going to be using a um, primer or anything. I'm just going to apply the foundation by itself. Just because I don't normally apply a primer, I just started using it. So I just want to apply it the same way that I would apply it any other time. So I applied it to the back of my hand. And as you can see, it's like really runny. Um, I didn't like that because it tends to run all over my hands. So I'm just going to pick up some from the sides like so. And kind of stipple it on my face. Like that. And I'm going to buff it in. This foundation does oxidize. So if you get the shade... They didn't necessarily have my particular shade because I would have probably wanted to go like maybe a half a shade darker. But I noticed that um, after I would finish the rest of my makeup, it did oxidize and it would become darker than what it was in the beginning. So, that's... All right, because my Maybelline Fit Me foundation does oxidize because I can clearly tell the difference between my hand and the color that the foundation is. It leaves like a dark mark on the back of my hand. Alright, so this is my foundation. I've applied it all. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my um, makeup or whatever. I'm not doing really anything big. So yeah, I'm going to apply the rest of my foundation and then I am going to just give you guys my thoughts and my review. But I just want to show you guys how I applied the makeup. I don't have anything else on my face other than my eyebrows done. So yeah, I will be back to show you, just to tell you my thoughts and just talk, and just to talk about the um, whole foundation in general. Hi guys, okay so today you guys asked for it and I am going to give it to you. I am going to be reviewing this... Um, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the color C8. Um, I got this about three or so weeks ago, maybe. I have been using it since then. Um, I did switch back to my Maybelline Fit Me maybe once or twice during that time, but for the most part, I've been consistently using this uh, foundation. Okay, so first off, the one con that I have for this foundation is that it is super, super, super runny. I would show you, but in the demo I show you, the, uh, I mentioned how runny it is. As soon as I put it on the back of my hand, and I have product still back there. As soon as I apply it to the back of my hand, it begins to run down the sides, and I do not like that. My Maybelline Fit Me does run a little bit, but it's a bit thicker so it takes much more time and by the time that I, it's starting to run I usually are I'm already applying it on my face so it doesn't really matter but as soon as I apply this to the back of my hand it runs I have to make sure that the top is closed while I'm sitting up here doing like this you can tell that it's going to be a runny consistency just by shaking it you can tell just how liquidy it is is that a word I don't know you can just tell that it's going to be, it's a liquid based foundation. Um, would I purchase this again? Maybe. Um, if I didn't, this would be a product that if it was on sale, I would buy it. Or if they didn't have my Maybelline Fit Me in 360, that foundation, I would purchase this. But just going to the drugstore and saying it's my favorite, no. Um, I don't know, it may, like, I get crease lines right here on my, um, face 
just for me smiling, talking, eating, stuff like that. And I find that with this, it happens so much quicker. Like, I can be in just applied it. And I know someone's going to say apply a primer. But when I applied my Maybelline, um, let me show you. I applied this primer with it as well, and it is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. I applied it with it, and it seemed to make the uh, lines appear quicker than normal with my Maybelline Fit Me. I can go a few hours without me having to touch it up or me having to uh, try to blend that out, which I'm not a big fan of because during the day, if I decide to wear makeup, I'm not the type of person to touch my makeup up. When I do my makeup in the morning, that is the only time that I touch my makeup. I don't reapply lipstick. If my lipstick go goes away, I wipe off the rest and just apply some Vaseline chapstick. Something my favorite right now is the Vaseline Lip Therapy that just looks like this in a small container. Cocoa butter, like, I don't reapply lipstick or nothing like that unless I'm out for a special occasion. Then I will, but on a regular basis just for a normal day, no, I do not. So I'm looking for a foundation that can last a few hours because I usually leave the house maybe around 12-ish, 1-ish, and I'm not coming back until about 7, 8 o'clock. So something that's going to last, and with this I find that if I leave the house by 12, by 3 o'clock I already have a lot of noticeable lines in my face, and that is really, really irritating. Um, I do not set my foundation because I do not like that cakey feel. And that's another thing about this foundation. This foundation is a lot heavier than the Maybelline Fit Me. With this, I have to really apply just a little bit because a little of this goes a long way. And this can be buildable to like... Ah! Break it, why don't you? This can be buildable to like full, full coverage and that's just not what I go for when I look for a foundation because I do not have a lot of spots that I need to cover up. So I do like a foundation that's buildable just for the simple fact that if I do not want that, well I never want that full coverage look or that oh my god I have on a lot or feel like it and that's what it was with this. I don't know, I really wanted it, I really wanted it. Wanted to like this foundation just for the simple fact so many of you guys raved about it but it just didn't work out for me uh, when I repurchased it like I said if I saw it on sale I think I only bought this for $5 so sure why not it's only $5 where I saw it at but I would not go into like CVS because in CVS I think it's like it ranges from like 10 to 13 no I wouldn't spend $13 on this but for the $5 that I did spend, it was great. Um, but I have to say that there are two other... I think I will probably go back to my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse before I go back to this. Um, I'm not sure. It's just... I don't know. It was at, on a scale of 1 to 10. I would probably give it about 6, 7-ish. It's not bad. It's above average. I give you that. And a lot of people rave about it, but it just did not work out for me. They have a great sec selection of shades, like from the lightest to the deepest. And like that, I really want the deep, deep, deep one because I want to use it as a kind of like a contour. But I didn't find it at the target that I was at. So guys, I'm not sure if it says that it does. Um... I'm not sure, but it does oxidize because on the back of my hand, you can kind of see it getting darker. This is the foundation right here. And when I first apply it, it's not that color at all. But over like, if I allow this to sit on my hand for the rest of the day, you will be able to tell that it's going to oxidize and get darker. My Maybelline Fit Me does that as well. As soon as it sets, it's darker than what... The foundation is on the back of my hand, but I do not norm I do not tend to match my foundation with the back of my hand because my hands and arms and all that other stuff is lighter than my face, and yeah, I'm just not about that life. So so far, it hasn't been to the point where it's real noticeable. Where people are like, "Oh my God, your face and all this other stuff is so much lighter," because it's not. It's probably maybe like a half a shade or something lighter than my face. But that's fine by me. Um, I do not try to match it with that. But yeah, these are my thoughts on this foundation. You do not have to um, 
switch your thoughts or if you like the foundation then that's great but if you have any other foundations that you'd like for me to try out down below please leave them and I will um, if you have any other makeup products that you'd like to see me try out I will as well um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon bye Psh.